Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making an update on the, the greenhouse tropicals and how they've done whilst we were gone for two weeks to um, the tropics. I'm starting off uh, with this plant here. This is the um, Barbados cherry or acerola. And as you can see, it's getting a little help um, on the leaves there where as you saw in previous videos, I had a lot of problems with the um, nasty, nasty um, bug known as aphids. Yeah, and um, they seem to be gone. I gave them a good spray before we went on vacation and uh, they haven't come back. So that's good news on the uh, acerola. It's dropped a lot of its leaves. Still a lot of leaf there though. Right? Gets pretty dry pretty quick. Um, more so than any of the other tropicals here. So it likes its water, Mr. Barbados Cherry. But he's not going to get what he wants because I lost um, one last winter, probably from wet feet in the ground, mixed together with um, frost and cold. So, uh, not much change in the last couple of weeks. Um, the lychees still look a little sooky, but they're hanging in there. They haven't gotten worse, which is good, right? The... the um, the um, established leaves are semi-perky or semi-happy. It's just these new ones that came over um, early autumn when we had the last hot flush. They're, they're the ones that are soaking. But otherwise, the lychees here, three of them, are, um, are okay. Next we have the, the jackfruit which uh, is looking fine as well. It's, a, it's looking a little uh, more, um, how shall I say, cold affected since we last filmed it. And we have a leaf here. It's been um, decimated by some bug, which um, I'll probably remove. We don't like that. Right? So now it looks looks fine, just the way it did a few weeks ago. So we've got um, the African Pride custard apple there. These do very well, custard apples and cherry moya. Um, the sapodilla, one and two. They were infested with aphids as well back in um, March and April. Looks like that's under control. They haven't come back. So whatever I did seems to have worked, which is a lot of spraying of water to get rid of the aphids, right? And then um, a showering of of um, sea sol, which in Australia is very popular. It's um, liquid fish emulsion or seaweed extract, depending which one you get. And that seems to have done a the trick. Then we have the Rolinia, which is still hanging on to these uh, young flowers, which haven't done much in the last three months. I don't know what the story is. Looks like they're going to be hanging on for half a year. But it's very healthy. That's what I care about. The tree is very healthy, just as healthy as the uh, custard apple and cherry moya. And then over here, the allspice is looking like a champion, right? The other two grafted jackfruits are doing really good back there. The um, abiyu is hanging in, looking good. No signs of cold damage yet. That really suffered in the other greenhouse last winter. Uh, not this one, but it's cousin that's dead he was fine till the end of June and then in July 
the real test will be July, by the way. This is only the end of autumn. July is midwinter, right? That's the real test. <laughs> so what I'm showing you now is the end of the, the very end of the good times. That's why they're all looking so good, right? There's no there's no damage anywhere except um, for the lychee silks, but that's not a big deal. That's nothing. It's nothing at all. You go by the old leaves. And then you, you know if there's problems. See, see the old leaves, how health, healthy they are? Right? That's how you know the lychee is fine. It's just that the new ones, I don't know what 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 um, is missing. Something's missing, right? I, I'm guessing that it's heat. They want more heat to perk up. And they're just not getting that heat. Sorry, we're only getting, at the end of autumn, we can only give you... 19.5 Celsius, 65 Fahrenheit. Sorry, guys, it's all it's, it's as good as it's gonna get without heating, right? There's no heating in here, it's all open. And uh, without going through every single tree, everything's looking pretty, pretty good. Even back there with the uh, Mamesa Podi, look at it, what a champion! And the uh, Star Apple next to it, it's got. It's still hanging on to a lot of new growth. See the new growth coming from the star apple? All these brown tips right there. Yeah, looking very good. And back there we have uh, Monkey Jack or La Cucha, another star apple, which is insanely healthy. Look at that. Seedling. Look at the, look at the green on it. And back there we have the um, uh, sugar apple, which is so-so. Hasn't done much at all this year or last year. I don't know what's up with it. I should have got another one. I probably will. The Indian gooseberry in the front has dropped its leaves. Probably going to get new ones soon. Back there we have the santol, right, which is starting to show some signs of cold effect. See the... But the top leaves at the top, those ones up there, they're turning yellow. They're the new leaves. Whereas the established leaves are still vivid green. Here we have the, uh, the two uh, avocados, the reed and the um, choquette. Still waiting for the choquette to get its leaves back, hopefully sometime in spring. This one here. Whereas the reed is coming with new growth already the reeds are um, a real champion I'm gonna be planting that one out probably in a couple of years and then we have let's see the mountain soursop and hang on a moment the rossapodi the canistel which also I had, a, I had one last year which also died, but this one's coming with new growth, which is always pleasing to see on, um, on sooks. Major sook, this one. And that's it. I think, yeah, and, uh, sorry, I got also um, back there on uh, Cha Cha and uh, Lemon Drop Mangosteen, Madrono back there. And they're all doing good, guys. I'm very, very happy with. Um, um, this bunch here. Let's go and check out the rest. The in-ground Rolinia is still hanging in, right? It's getting tattered by uh, wind and of course cold wind, winter wind and uh, the temperatures now have dropped down to uh, 6 and 7 Celsius average at night between 6 and 10 uh, and the last two, sorry, the last three nights we had temperatures um, down to two Celsius. Yeah, so, and you can see the two Celsius. Well, thankfully there's no frost damage, right? But um, you can see the leaves are getting smashed. I don't know by what. It's definitely not cold. It's either wind or um, some bugs. Yeah, so there's more, 
is more leaf damage than cold damage. I don't know where the damage is coming from, but someone is um, smashing into the leaves. I don't know why or how. So it's more damage, physical damage, than cold damage. Right? Look. What's this? The cold doesn't cause this. Someone is knocked onto this. Either the, the air or a bug or a bird. Someone. So that's what's going on with the Rolinia. And next to it, the, the Canastel seedling is looking pretty good. It also has a bit of a, a few bite marks around. Don't know how. And all the new growth down here is getting chewed on. I'm guessing that's all from bugs. Hang on. Ah, doesn't want to focus. But you get the, the gist. Right? See all those leaves that have been chewed up on the egg fruit. It's really strange. Because right next to it <laughs> is this guy here, right? It's like egg fruit is here and this guy is here. And look at his leaves. I wonder why they're not tasty enough for whoever's eating the leaves. This is um, a cherry of the Rio Grande. Yeah. His leaves, all of his leaves, are perfect. So, wonder what's going on. Wonder why they're eating the Rolinia leaves and the Canister leaves. See that? Look. But they're not touching the cherry of the Rio Grande. Go figure. The, the dwarf Nakasaki Wazi Loquat. Look at that. Look how it's shot up over the last couple of months. These are all new shoots at the top. Like, we're talking at least 20 inches of growth in um, two months. No cold weather is stopping this guy. No, sir. Champion. A true champion. He, he puts all the sooks to shame. The same with the uh, macadamia. Another dwarf. He's looking pretty good. In ground. These are all in ground. <clears throat> Unless otherwise mentioned. The green sapoti. The second one I have. In ground. This one's also getting chewed up. It's got to be bugs. A lot of... A lot of... Um, chewing going on. On the green sapoti. The relinia. Look at the... Um, black sapoti leaves. Untouched. Not one leaf has been touched. Like... Perfect. Perfection. <clears throat> right? And yet, the green sapoti is getting all the attention. This is the Huck uh, Ip Lychee, which is the newest one I received from Dailies a couple of months ago. And um, this one has had a different response to the cold than the ones in the greenhouse over there. I don't have this in the greenhouse. And you can see it's getting a lot of uh, damage on all the tips, the leaf tips. Probably from the, the cold we've had the last few days and whilst we were gone. So I'm trying to harden these up, guys. I mean, he, he really belongs in a greenhouse, but I've got no room. There's no room for him. I'm keeping him under the, um, the banana leaves here. As you can see, leaf, leaf right underneath semi semi protected then we have one of the two star fruits that I have in the ground this one is is a champion hasn't felt any cold at all but this one has dropped half its leaves hmm yep so it's normal for star fruit to drop their leaves but not this early, usually in um, spring is when they drop their leaves, not now. So this is a, a little unusual. 
This one is, let's have a look. That's the Kambengan variety of Karambola. And the other one was <clears throat> Let's have a look, hang on. Giant Siam variety. And as in lost one leaf. Interesting, huh? It's getting rubbed on by the taro though. I might have to cut the taro leaf off. See that one there? It's rubbing. Providing some protection from the cold, but we don't want it touching, right? And uh, these are the taro. Here I have a Suriname cherry in the pot. And this, this did really, really well over uh, summer and autumn. And I potted it up to a bigger pot about um, five, six weeks ago in April. And um, he's gonna just take off in um, the following season. And here I have the Chompu Longan in ground. And he seems very happy, very, very happy. As opposed to the lychees with new growth here. And the leaves are exceptional. It's probably looking a lot better than even the, the Kohala. So we'll see how he does over winter. His first winter in ground. He was in the greenhouse last winter. See how he does. And here, this little baby. Baby um, custard apple. The Poshti variety. He's looking okay, but as I've said in previous videos, not much growth going on. A bit like the um, sugar apple. Slow, slow, slow. Is that my knee? Knee high. Under my knee, actually. Yeah, he's shorter than my knee. A couple of uh, new Jabadikabas that I picked up in uh, April. This is the Giant. Of course, they're doing fine. As is the Max Gold White Sapoti in a pot there. They can take the cold, no problem. That's the um, Black Beauty. Uh, Brazilian Cherry. Or Suriname Cherry. Dropping a few of its leaves. Otherwise doing fine. Normal practice. And um, two black sapotis that I also purchased recently back in um, March. So I'm leaving those out in pots. They should be fine. The passion fruits, two of them seem to be fine. This one here, the Sweetheart, which is a tropical variety, has been chewed up um, by some critter. But it's getting a lot of new growth. We like seeing new growth, guys. There's new growth everywhere. It's like, wow. It's like springtime, look. Look at all this. New growth coming. Look at that, it's all over the vine. Even though winter is knocking on the door, I'm weaving. I'm weaving all these um, new, um, tips through the wire because they're they're still pushing growth look right across that's all new and over there and then at the end there new growth as well so yeah even though it's haggard by um, bugs I take it right through the holes or the wind or the cold I don't know what's causing all this uh, leaf damage it's also getting a lot of new growth. Look at this. Here you can really tell. Right? New growth here. New growth in there. And 
new growth here, new growth up here. It's non-stop. It won't stop growing. So that's a very good sign. And all the way down, all the way down, when you go all the way down, there's new shoots, look, coming into winter. And the same with, um, with there. See that? This is the other um, passion fruit, the Nelly Kelly. So overall, everything's looking pretty good, except for a lot of um, <coughs> smashed up leaves on <coughs> one, two, three, four of the plants. And I don't know what that is. It's got to be a bug, some um, leaf eating bug that just prefers those leaves over other leaves. There's no other explanation. Okay, guys, stay tuned for a part two to this series of the um, the Dailies Tropicals. I'll be right back with um, part two. <laughs>